Once you turn pro, every fight is as important as the next because you live and die by your record. When I get in the ring, I just end up hating the whole team. Like everything to do with their gym, I hate them all. Like I'm looking at them all, on to kill them all. Like I'm sick. I think. Finish up! Finish up! Every new person that comes through the door wants to be McGregor, so he always knows the week after one of his big fights, the gym is packed. It's the game face. Yeah. Part of the game face. I'm smaller than Mitch. We're in a Warriors gym now in, in Dunleary, so this is. We've been in charge of this now for just over two years, so. Well, that's good because of toy boxing, but I was just training all the time. I used to just think that I'll leave school and just train twice a day, but obviously it wasn't like that because you can't do that over here. It's not like in Thailand where you train twice a day. And I was just messing around for a couple of months and I went to a, doing a sports course, like in the middle of that course, I just left to go to Thailand and that's when I just turned 16, so. Most of the venues I fought and were just like out in the middle of nowhere, like to be fighting in a place like that, you could fight anywhere, you know what I mean? Because that's. No, you know, like you're looking around and no foreigners around or no medics or no, no health and safety or nothing, you know what I mean? So it's, it's to experience point now where you can't be either, you know? Make some noise! There's a number of factors that go into deciding whether or not this guy should turn pro. You know, really by early 20s they need to have made enough waves to get onto one of the big shows and be making uh, you know good money out of it if they haven't by that stage maybe it's time to try something else Sam, Lewis, 26 25 26 so i start to play late in the game the young players nowadays start from when they're 10 11 12 and you can see the difference you know they're green the new Boy from kids, I'm supposed to be at a wedding today, so she's got it. She couldn't come today. She's at a wedding back in Cork, so um, yeah, I can't thank them enough for support for putting up with me. She, she's grand. She, she, as I say, she'd be a nervous wreck, but yeah, she, she's. Yeah. I've well, we fought in the cage before, a few times before, so. I kind of got, I know what it, the feel of it's like, but it's a lot different to go to ring, whereas once the door closes, you can even just feel that, so it goes real small, and it's a cage, it's different like where a ring, the ropes and all are there, it just it feels different to me anyway, so it is a lot to take in, but with the last week on there, that was, I actually enjoyed that more than I would have in a smaller show, you know, it would have shown off, so <laughs> the more people that's there, the better for me, you know. Once you turn pro, every fight is as important as the next because you live and die by your record. That's the UFC's number one criteria, is your record. The thing on Independent where uh, putting up asking who wants to be the, who was the best in the rankings, who just reckon. And I put up a post saying, I'd like to take a shot at being number one. And then he thinks I uh, disrespected him. That's where they started. And then ever since then, we've been just at each other's throats, you know? Builds up pipes to the fights, man. Look at the crowd that's after coming to Cage of Kings. In fairness, the ref doing me a favour letting him continue because he was he just was asleep walking on to the next shot, so it was like it was easy for me to land then, but it was a bit, a bit uh, gruesome as well, like the way he was going down and giving the knee in the head. But to be honest, like, I didn't think that was half as bad as what I was thinking in my mind because I was thinking sicker stuff than what I done to him. So I do respect everyone, but now when I fight, it's like in my mind, I just build up a lot of hate. I don't do it on purpose. Like I just on the night once when I get in the ring, it just everything's like end up hating the whole team. Like everything to do with their gym, I hate them all. Like I'm looking at them all, I'm to kill them all. Like I'm not just looking at their opponent. Like I'm, I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm sick. I think. Since the McGregor era, anyway, like when he started, like the gym has probably tripled in the numbers. I'd say every new person that comes through the door wants to be McGregor, so he always knows the week after one of his big fights, the gym is packed. Oh, oh, oh. 
it's a well known phenomenon this. You can see in all, all countries with all sports. You know, we did it with we had Brian O'Driscoll or whatever a decade ago. All of a sudden ten years later the Keen Healy's coming through that might have been inspired by him. And I think it's gonna be the same with Connor. Um, he's a year or two as, you know, a proper kind of megastar in Ireland. That led to us getting a lot of ten year olds, eleven year olds, twelve year olds joining. Give me five, six years of them. They're turning seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. What are they gonna be like? You know, so it's it's very exciting times for Irish mixed martial arts. This was never around like ten years ago where there was kids toy boxing class like this gym alone in a couple of years time. There's more kids in here than there is adults. Like. Scary looking at them, like, I can't wait to retire. Let all them come here and take over because I don't want to be around when all them grow up, you know. Combat sports, UFC, MMA, that's where the money is. There's no other way around that. I have nothing else to go on. I can't just say I'll do fighting as my hobby and then just get a job or go to college. Like, I can none of that. Like, I can barely read or write, so I have to fight him. If I can't fight him, I'm fucked. <laughs> so. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we have to. I have nothing else to fall back on, so I have to fight. Finish job! Finish job! Probably always have a smile on Rich. That's me, uh, what I'd say. I'd have to get that in my shorts, my t-shirts and all now. I'll smile on Rich TM. Oh,